Hey yeah. friends, how's it going? Today we have a, a new segment, we're calling it In Focus, and this is where I kind of talk about different projects you can do at home. We go a little more in depth about uh, different ideas, uh, things you might want to try. And today, you may want to try our Play-Doh. Today is Play-Doh Sunday. Every two weeks, I mix a fresh batch of dough for you kids. And that's important because it cuts down on the germs. So I, every two weeks, I just throw away the batch and I make a whole new batch. Today, we're only going to be making one batch of dough. And these are some of the things you'll need. Can you make sure you get these, Ernie? You're going to need two cups of sifted flour. You're going to need a half cup of salt. Two cups of hot water, not boiling water, just hot water. And two tablespoons of cream of tartar. This is cream of tartar right here. Some people like to say, cream of tartar. Can you say that? Cream of tartar. Cream of tartar. Then we'll also need three tablespoons of oil. I use vegetable oil. And then last but not least is our food coloring. Today's uh, color will be neon blue. And uh, you can mix colors. You can have a lot of fun with that. So you guys think you're ready to come in with me to the kitchen? Yeah, also, um, can, can you just tell the kids where is the cream of tar? Where do they sell the cream of tartar? It, this is a really good question, Ernie, because this is a little bit hard to find. You're going to have to go to the baking aisle of your supermarket, and it's with all the spices. Uh, so so if uh, usually the spices are arranged alphabetically, so that can be a fun literacy activity. You can try to find uh, the cream of tartar, and you'd have to look at all the spices that begin with C to find it. Thank you for asking. All right, let's go to the kitchen. All right. My cameraman's getting set up there. So what we did is we mixed all the dry ingredients in the bowl already, and I warmed up our water. And right now, since we're just about to get ready to do all the stirring here, I'm going to put our skillet on the burner, and it's set. I'm going to set it not eh, somewhere in the middle there. The skillet gets super hot, and if the skillet sears the dough, it has little crusty parts. It's no fun playing with the crusty parts. So today, I'm going to be trying to show you how to avoid the crust, okay? That, that's going to be my job. Usually, I'm pretty good at this these days. And now that we're videoing it, I'm probably going to mess up, but we'll see. We'll see. So here's my bowl, all ready to go. And now it's time to put in the wet ingredients. First, oh, I should show them. This is a, this is a... A little tip for you here. I already put the the um, food coloring in the measuring cup, and I'm going to measure two cups of water. Okay, can you measure with me? Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see here. Can you see that okay, Ernie? Or should I bring it over there? Yeah. How about bring it over here? Okay. Thank you. I'm just gonna... and, and this stove top is not hot, so. There's one. Here's number two. That looks good. Oh wow, it's very neon already. Uh, I'll show, I'll... How come nobody's asked me about my chapeau? How come nobody's asked me about my hat today? Mm -hmm. I just wanted to wear a hat. Do you like it? Yeah. Okay, there's one more thing we have to mix in here. And I think you might remember, it's three tablespoons, not teaspoons. Table. You say tablespoons, right? Tablespoons. Not teaspoons. There's one. Plops right in. Makes a funny, funny looking color in there now. There's two. I'll show the kids after. And yeah, yeah, give them a look in there. Get that person to see. You don't want you want to be uh, careful with that because it, it uh, makes a big mess. All right, you stay right where you are. I'm gonna do this some stirring now. Gonna stir it up. Gonna scramble the dough. Gonna scramble the dough. Gonna scramble the dough and iceberg. Gonna scramble the dough. Scramble the dough. Scramble the dough and iceberg. <laughs> all right, I really got to scramble. Look, you have to get all these dry ingredients. Look, scrape from the bottom of the bowl and fold in. You want to get all that dough. How are we looking here? 
it's starting to look good. Yeah. All right. Now, when we start using the stove, my friends, you have to do that part with mom and dad. You could probably do all this measuring. You could probably do all this stirring. But I'm going to ask your mom or your dad to help you with the next part here. Because this is a little tricky part. And I don't know how much experience you have using the stove. All right. Just flipping it around. Make sure it's well mixed and that way your dough will be very smooth when it comes to Let's see, okay. What do you think, cameraman? Does that look good? Yeah, it looks right. Pretty good? Looks good. Fun to play with. Well, we can't play with it yet. Can you show me for a sec? So if you played with it now, what would happen? It would spill on your head. Yeah, you'd get it all over yourself. What we're going to do now is pour it into the skillet. You can already hear that sizzle, right? If you hear a huge sizzle, that's a bad, bad, bad sign there because it means your skillet is set too hot. So I'm gonna really be quick here. Maybe you should tell them dough. what temperature it should be on again. So here's the deal. We have an electric stove, so medium. I, it, it, yeah, if, uh, if you have gas, I think you'd be able to get exactly the temperature you want. Medium is just so, or I'm sorry, the electric stove is so erratic. It's hard for me to work with. I heard it's better for the environment, but I don't know. Oh, look at that. Got to flip it over already. Now I'm going to just keep flipping, okay? I'm not going to walk away. I'm not going to dilly-dally. I'm just going to be on here for, until this is a solid. Right now it's a liquid, and the heat is going to change it into a solid. Okay, so spread it out again wait a minute there okay now it's time to flip again oh look at that look at that not too crusty oh it's no fun when it's crusty who likes crusty dough ernie uh i don't know it's a trick question nobody 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 likes crusty dough but this is going to be a real treat one of the things I've always been sad about concerning um, Play-Doh Sunday is that you kids never get to enjoy it when it's warm. This, this is best enjoyed when it's warm. All right, starting to get there. We're getting there quick. But if we do Play-Doh Saturday, you wouldn't even get the warm. Look at that. Look at that. Now that's looking real good. Oh. We're looking for that. That's it. All right. I think we have this set right to the... The medium heat that we're desiring here and this is going to turn it into a solid real quick now and then as soon as it starts solidifying we need to start kneading the dough and that's that's the joyful part of this kneading the dough okay and i'll just recommend um when you're done playing with your dough please put it in an airtight container and that way you'll save for for many, many weeks, and you won't have to throw it away because uh, it's, it's your family germ pool there, so. Of course, you can make a new batch anytime you want. Maybe you're inspired, you want to do a certain color. Maybe you're having a party and it's kind of a theme party. Okay, here we go. Maybe it's a theme party, so you want a different color. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna get rid of my spatula. And this is the part where I can start pressing it. Don't worry, it's not too high. It's just a medium heat there, so I'm not burning myself. But you probably want this, your parents to do this. Yeah, yeah, this is absolutely mommy and daddy territory right here. Okay, it is pretty hot. I'm gonna use my spatula for a couple more flips here. How are we doing on time, Ernie? Um, well, nine minutes and 13 seconds, not 14 Excellent, seconds. excellent, that's perfect. Bless you. Nice catch. Ernie's getting so good at catching his sneezes and coughs. I, and I was telling my family this morning, I think that's going to be the best part of the coronavirus, is that we're all learning how to catch our sneezes and coughs better than we ever have before. And of course, we'll wash our hands. All right, guys, we did it. That's it. I'm going to turn this off. Turn this off. I'm going to get this Skittle off the oven. And now, look at this. What am I doing? You're rolling it. I'm kneading the dough, right? And if you don't 
if it's still too, if it's too hot for your hands, look what you can do. You can get a, uh, you can get a cutting board. There you go, you press it out. I'm gonna flip flop it like that. Oh, this is nice. I think we did a good one, Ernie. I think we did a great one. This is gonna be really nice. All right. Let's bring the dough back to our, our spot over here. All right. Bye bye, cream of tartar. Bye bye. We don't need it anymore. So, this is the dough. Now, uh, it's okay if you see me, okay? Thank you. You're getting so good at this cameraman thing. My, my cameraman and myself, we've been under fire this week trying to figure out how to do this stuff best. So, hopefully, we're getting good. Hopefully, you're enjoying our process a lot more. So, what to do with the dough? I mean, that's the best question of all. Ernie, what would you do with a mound of dough? Play with it. You can play with it. You can roll it. You can pound it. Use your kitchen tools. People think they need the Play-Doh brand tools to do everything. You could use a fork or a knife or a spoon and have fun with this. You can use any of your kitchen utensils and have fun. We like to roll it out and cut out shapes. You can, you can twist it. You, you can make snakes. You can build alphabet letters or numbers. The opportunities and ideas for Play-Doh are endless. There's so many ways to enjoy dough play. And for us at school, you might notice that's one of the first things that are out on the table every day. I do that consistently for a reason. Uh, dough is a very soothing sensory project that helps us settle into the day. It helps us calm down and helps us focus. And, and it's a great way to share community at the table. So make sure, you kids, you cut that dough up and you share it with all your siblings and your mama and your daddy too, okay? This has been In Focus with Mr. Rob and, and Ernie. <laughs> and we thank you very much. We hope you guys are having an awesome weekend. Bye-bye.